what's up, Arts here, and welcome to a brand new Black Ops video. So what I've got for you all today is a pretty deadly setup, if I say to myself. I would definitely recommend you to give this one a shot. Basically, for those of you that have been living under rock a couple of weeks ago, the Vax 3 side, the Boa 3 side, the Recon side, and the Thermal side received a buff. In all cases, your center speed will be increased by 10%, making every weapon you put one of these sides on a lot more accurate. And honestly, I personally think that this should be nerfed, but until then, I'm definitely going to make good use of that, and I would definitely recommend you to do the exact same thing as well. But basically, like I said in my video from I think two days or so ago, if you put the Vax 3 side on the Man of War, you've got yourself a weapon that works incredibly well at all ranges. By default, the Man of War is of course a killer at close to medium range, simply because you can drop people with only three bullets in those case. And then Normus B kind of struggle to keep up at long range for the simple fact that this gun does kick quite a bit. So obviously at those ranges, you normally speak and have to tap the trigger in order to keep up. But if you put the Vax 3 side on here, the Boa 3 side, the Recon side, whichever you prefer, then that's of course no longer a problem. And in that case, you can simply spray and pray and it'll get the job done. Don't worry about it. So the class setup that I would definitely recommend you to try out is this one right here. We're first of course going to take a look at the attachments and then the perks and then finally the square streak setup. So that being said, let's get to it. Now for starters, we have the Vax 3 sides. Now of course, out of the four ones that received the buff, this is my personal favorite for the simple fact you've got two zoom modifications. One that works well at close to medium range, and then one that works well at long range. If you don't like this one, then I'd say either go with the Boa 3 side or the Recon side. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Thermal Scope, but if that's the one you like, then simply go with that one. Next up, we have the Quick Jar Grip. Obviously, the Quick Jar Grip is simply going to allow you to zoom in a little bit faster, making this gun a bit more deadly at close range, because at the end of the day, if you manage to hit your opponent before he hits you, you're more than likely going to win that gunfight, just because it only takes about two to 300 milliseconds to drop an opponent in pretty much any Call of Duty game. Next up, we have Rapid Fire. Now, Rapid Fire is simply going to increase your fire rate by a little bit. If I'm not mistaken, it's either 6 or 9% on the assault rifles. Now, this is not a huge difference, but it basically makes this weapon a bit more deadly at close range, because obviously, by the vault, you're going to struggle to keep up with weapons like the KN44, the HVK, the FFAR, and so on and so forth. And this basically evens out the playing field, especially considering that this weapon, of course, deals more damage. And then finally, we have Fast Max. Now, Fast Max is a personal favorite of mine, but I basically like running Fast Max for the simple fact that it puts me right back into the fight straight away. It literally only takes a split second to reload any weapon when you're using Fast Max. But I can also understand the logic behind using something like Extended Max that basically allows you to spray and pray for a little longer. Probably a better option if your accuracy isn't too great. But personally, considering this weapon has practically no recoil with the Varex 3 sides, I don't think you really have to worry about that. Anyway, so next up we have Fast Hands. Now, for those of you who don't know, for starters, Fast Hands, of course, allows you to switch between weapons a little bit faster. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of that. I rarely use the secondary. And if I do, it's either the XM53 or the Black Sun. I only use those to annoy my opponents, and obviously those aren't going to help me out in gunfights. So that's not too useful. But Fast Hands also allows you to zoom in faster after you're done sprinting. In fact, it cuts the time that it takes you to zoom in after you're done sprinting in half, which is definitely pretty good. Next up, we also have Scavenger. This one is not essential. The main reason why I started to use Scavenger in Black Ops 2 is because I kind of want to use the same gun through the match. I really don't like picking up different weapons. Plus, I always get crap for doing so because I usually tend to put the weapon that I'm using in the video in the title. So for me, Scavenger is kind of essential, but obviously Hardwired would be the better option. Hardwired basically makes you immune to counter UAVs, power cores, EMP grenades, and also smoke screens. It makes you don't trigger trip mines, shock charges, and C4 alarms. And then on top of that, it reduces the effects of Tracker, and it completely annihilates the effects of Sixth Sense. So that one's pretty good. And then finally, we have Dead Silence, which is a perk that I use, I want to say, about 90% of the time. Basically, I personally think that Silent Whoring is far too easy in Black Ops 3. And I personally hate the fact that my opponents can pinpoint exactly where I'm at when I'm not using that sign, so obviously that's why I tend to use this one. But if you want to switch this perk for anything else you prefer, then definitely go ahead. And then finally from the Square Streaks, if I'm not mistaken, I was using the UAV, the Guardian, and then the Sentry Gun. This is a Square Streak sub that I've been using a heck of a lot recently. Honestly, these Square Streaks are pretty easy to get, and if you use them correctly, they're also pretty deadly. Basically what you want to do is you want to put the Sentry in a high traffic area, that way it'll get you at least like 4-5 to five kills on average. And then you want to use the Guardian to basically protect the sentries back. And that right there is a pretty deadly combo, if I said to myself. And then the UAV is the one square streak that I use pretty much all the time. Anyway, with that being said, if you've got a pretty solid Man of War setup, definitely be sure to share that one in the comments down below for us to try out. If you enjoyed this video, some support, a like rating would be very much appreciated. If not, that's cool. If you want to, you can also follow me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. 
you can find all those things in the description. And nowadays, I'm also on Snapchat. If you want to add me over there, it's by on Snapchat, just like my YouTube channel. And then finally, in fact, as always, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for the continued support. And I will catch you in the next one. Take it easy.